Hi, I'm Rev Myron. I'm a minister through Pathways of Life, and I've been a Course in Miracles student for 40 years. I'm going through the lessons this year, and I'm asking Jesus for clarity, and then I'm writing from that clarity, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. I'm looking at lesson 142. My mind holds only what I think with God. I thank my father for his gifts to me. Let me remember I am one with God. Here is something I wrote a few years ago when I was struggling with the idea that my mind holds only what I think with God. Here's what I said. It certainly doesn't feel like my mind holds only what I think with God. Last night and other nights recently, I've witnessed ego in my mind in the form of guilt and fear. The form is different at different times, but I know that it doesn't matter because fear is fear. I know that guilt and fear is in my mind and is then projected outward to make situations that prove the fear is true. I also understand that it is coming up for the purpose of being healed. But all this understanding does not keep me from feeling the guilt and the fear while I'm looking at it, and it's very unpleasant. I always listen to the course for a while before I go to sleep, and so I put it on my iPod as I settle down for bed. I asked again that my mind be healed. I really hate the way it feels when I'm caught up in ego. Just then, I heard the course say that fear is undone through, perfect, through love, and perfect love is the atonement. I felt peace flow over me, and I asked for and received the atonement in this situation. So, as I was saying, how is it that my mind holds only what I think with God, and yet my mind was filled with fear and guilt thoughts? And this was a message that I received from Holy Spirit. These thoughts you imagine are not your real thoughts. They are meaningless babble and do not affect your holy mind in any way. Your mind is unassailable. It is not affected by this nonsense, no matter what you imagine in your dream state. Your mind continues to be as it was created. It is in this state of being right now, my friend. Last night, as you were agonizing over the fear and guilt, your mind was in perfect peace as it always was and is and will be. The fear and guilt thoughts do not touch it in any way. Even in the middle of this ego storm, you could sink beneath the insanity and find peace because you would be sinking into your true self. It is always there and your mind holds only what you think with God. Therefore, it is always at peace. I thank my father for creating me as an extension of himself. I thank him that I am eternally as I was created, that nothing can change me in any way. His gifts as such are joy, peace, love, perfection, freedom, and wholeness. I am grateful that I am one with God and can never be where he is not. No matter what I might dream up and claim as reality, I remain in God, safe and secure. Thank you for sharing this lesson with me, this review lesson. And thank you for watching my video. And I, um, if you enjoyed it, um, then please like it and if you haven't yet, then prescribe, uh, subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with another lesson.